The flames reached nearly 30 metres high in Lake Macquarie, north of Sydney. Wherever there was water nearby, it was being used. Flames licking the night sky in areas treacherous to firefighters. The fire activity that we were being reported was certainly extreme. Centres housed those who were evacuated from their homes. Suddenly sort out your priorities real quick. <laughs> when it comes to these kind of fires, the priority is number one. But the consequences are never a laughing matter. For families affected, all they can think of is what they used to have. Their memories are now in cinders. At least 100 homes have been destroyed so far. One man died from a heart attack while trying to defend his. The man in Carter's Road at Lake Munmora uh, found collapsed uh, defending his home, uh, taken to Wyong Hospital and unfortunately couldn't be resuscitated. More than 100 bushfires have swept through Australia's New South Wales, forcing thousands to leave their homes. So fire service officials reckon more houses are at risk of being burnt down. In Sydney, you knew about it, if not from the TV broadcasts, but from the smoke obscuring the sun. Forecasters say the weather is turning milder, which will help firefighters tackle the blazes that remain. But Australia remains particularly prone to bushfires, with its consistently dry weather and massive land area.